In this video, I'm just going to quickly run through how to import a VR chat model, um, uh, including eye tracking and lip syncing. Uh, it's going to be very fast. Um, yeah, okay. So, in the, we're in the Blender window here. Uh, mouse wheel down to pan around like this. Uh, press A. Um, you might need to do it twice. Press X and then delete. Now, you want to go into your uh, MMD Tools tab. Press Import. And then you want to go to your model. This is my model here. I'll open this up. Alright. <coughs> now if you want to see texture in the model, press N while your mouse is still in the main 3D preview window. And then scroll down in this uh, side panel here. And then uncheck Tune and Sphere Texture. And then check the shaderless button down there thing you want to do is go into the cats tab and then you want to click the translation drop down and then you just want to translate all the shapes the bones the mesh and material all in that order da, 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 come on <coughs> all right we'll do bones next mesh and then material alright now what we want to do is press this fix model button up the top here and what this will do is it will remove all the rigid bodies and joints and fix all the bones for us this is with the cat's blender plugin Alright, looks like it's done a pretty good job. Now, important thing to note that if a model's um, uh, triangle count uh, is above 71, or above 65, sorry, um, it won't actually import as one mesh in uh, Unity. It'll split it up. So, what we need to do is decimate, and we will be doing the decimation in Unity, so we just want to basically go to the absolute limit that Unity will handle. So 64999, quick decimation. Reason why we don't want to do this in Blender is because Blender will end up cracking the model. And yes, we can repair it, but it's a little bit tedious like that. It's easier to decimate the uh, model in Unity uh, with a plugin called Mantis Lod Editor. Okay, now that we've translated, we've fixed and decimated, now we want to go create our lip sync. And so we go to this uh, Vismus tab, uh, press the create button. Okay, that's created our lip syncing. Now eye tracking tab, click on that. And down the bottom of it, there's another button. We want to cl click that. Alright, now we want to. Uh, test the eye tracking to pan up and down like this just hold shift and mouse wheel down and now in the eye tracking tab here we start eye testing and just randomly drag these sliders these won't do any permanent changes it's just a test and if everything looks good then the model's good to go um, okay so now we can export this to unity but first we want to put our our, um, <coughs> uh, the folder that contains all our textures inside of Unity. So in this case, this would be mine here. Drag it in. Um, it will give some errors on some textures, but just ignore it. Um, okay, so this is it here. Go to Blender, and then we want to export it as an FBX. Um, and we will save it as a uh, we'll save it inside the folder that we just put in unity <coughs> that contains all the models textures <coughs> excuse me all right so that's it there so we want to switch. We want to click on the model file and 
click rigging if it's not already selected. Animation type needs to be set to humanoid and then we want to configure it. Then press apply. Alrighty. So right off the bat the model's imported pretty flawlessly, doesn't look like there's any problems with the body, but there is a problem with the head. Now, if we want lip syncing to work, we definitely w don't want the jaw to be front hair, because that's going to cause her hair to flap around while we talk. We actually don't want this jaw to be bound to any bone at all. We want VRChat to do all that for us. So just remove the jaw bone, press apply, and then once it's finished applying the changes, We can press done. Okay, now we'll drag her into the scene and position her at zero zero zero. A default size for an, an anime female character would be usually uh, point zero eight, but the size is all up to you really. Um, point zero eight is a good female size. Um, all right, now usually what you'd do now is go through all these uh, materials and change them from standard to uh, flat lit using the cubed unity shaders but I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to jump straight into it uh, just to speed things up um, so what we want to do now is with mantis lot editor window, mantis lot editor component, editor and mantis lot editor online press the upload mesh data and you can see here that the triangles are exactly what we set it in Blender which is good because any more than that and Unity will actually separate the mesh um, and if Unity does separate the mesh eye tracking and lip syncing will not work doesn't matter what you do it just it doesn't work VRChat doesn't like that your mesh needs to be one mesh and one mesh only okay so now that we've got that um, let's just make the quality something like 40 Alright, that's still high. Go to 30. Alright, that's alright. So now we want to save current mesh in our models folder. I'm just going to save this as bunny.asset. Now we want to remove the mantis lot editor uh, component and change the mesh from body to what we just created, which is bunny. Now we want to go over to our model and add our VRC avatar descriptor, change it to female or whatever your character's gender is, um, and we want to position the viewport as best we can, so maybe 4-3, four, 4-4, four, four, and put this at point 0.1. And now for lip syncing, we want to change to the Vise Me blend shape, and then drag our body uh, mesh in this field here and then we just want to select and match uh, what all these are uh, like like so and then after you're done with that uh, that's basically it your model is ready to go into VR chat so now you can just go into show build control um, build and publish I need to save this, I'll just save it as test Ch -ch -ch. if there wasn't all this waiting it would be so much faster to upload to VRChat <laughs> alrighty Sometimes you'll get this uh, error here, you just ignore that. It's just VRChat being funny. Um, uh, sorry, I forgot one thing. Uh, in the animator here, you want to select the simple uh, the avatar controller template, sorry. And now we can go to the build control panel, build and publish. And 
that's basically it. Put your name in there, description, content warnings if there are any, check this and upload. Um, basically we just uploaded a VRChat model uh, from start to finish excluding changing all of these materials in about 10 minutes. Alrighty, uh, thanks for watching.